it's a welcome relief. We have a cool morning. And my life takes on the daily rhythm. So what we have to do first is let the chickens out of the coop. I've had some predators around the chicken house again. And so now I make sure they're always locked inside. And they sure like to fuss. They do not like being locked inside and it's morning time and they went out. All right. It's like a wilderness around here. And now what I'm doing is the water that I use in these rain barrels are to clean and use for cleaning and washing dishes, doing all things. And so I do add some Clorox to my water and the heat of the summer, it keeps the water fresh and it keeps it clean and it also keeps it sweet. So it's called sweet water. In other words, it's not stagnant water. Now the Clorox I put in after a day or two will be burnt off pretty much and then really don't smell the Clorox. But this is how I keep my water from getting stagnant. Now some people said you can use vinegar. I haven't had any success with that. I do water my plants with this water. Like I said, once the Clorox is in the water for just a little while, it evaporates and so you don't even smell it. I also drain these. If we have a lot of rain, I drain them. I'm not sure what I'm going to work on today, but I'm sure to take you along and show you. So I get dressed, get my bed made, let the chickens out. I always start a load of laundry. I do my laundry every single day. That way I don't have so much at one time. All right, got that finished. I have some apples drying, lots of herbs. Garden should be tilled, but I don't feel like it today. I could take it easy today. I've been putting some really big days in, and I am really tired. But let me show you, I see here. Got another strawberry. Strawberries are doing real good in here. And these are starting to grow again. And here is my lemon verbena, which I need to cut. And look at this one. Look at this lemon verbena. I need to cut back because it keeps growing if you cut it back. So I'll work on that today. Every morning I heat my water to wash my dishes. More canning jars that need to be put away. Every day I'm using canning jars. Oh, Tessie, Tessie, it looks like you need to organize your canning jars again. It 
in the summer months, this is something that I have to do a lot because I'm always coming in and out of this room. It's my she shed, the canning garage. Oh goodness, we're gonna have to work on that. As you see, they're all over the place, toppled here and toppled there. Mama would not be happy with me if she would see this. My mother was extremely organized and well, I am too, except for when I'm in the busy months of the summer. Things just get so busy. Now we're on the rain cycle. Woo, finally. It's time to read Fanny's diary. We're gonna start with July 14th, 1944. Fanny says, I washed and I canned 20 quarts of beans. July 14th, 1945. Fanny writes, Marion got a bicycle. And July 14th, 1946. Fanny writes, I made sauerkraut. For those of you who wondered, Grandma Fanny is my husband's grandma. She died many years ago, but kept a living diary, which I shared often in my videos. This is what her little diary looks like. Fanny never dreamed that her diary would be read for hundreds and thousands of people to hear, but I think it's so interesting and people love it as well. Here she wrote in September the 10th, 1945, canned 17 quarts of mixed vegetables cold packed for 70 minutes at 10 pounds pressure. Pretty interesting, isn't it? The life of a Mennonite home wife. One of the things I love to do is watch other videos of people who just show their everyday life. And I think it's really amazing how, although we all have to do the same things, we all have to wash our clothing and wash our dishes, everybody does things so different. Like for me, I'm pouring hot water that I had to heat by the stove because I don't have hot water in the kitchen. And that's just the way I have to live every single day. And while most people have hot water, everybody does things so different. It's kind of fun. So I try to have my dishes done all the time. I don't ever want to let the dishes get too many of them because it just takes so much work. But now I still have hot water and this will last me all day pretty much because I use boiling water and then I add it to cold because I have cold running water as you see. One thing I'm really thankful for is I do have running water and I have ample amount of water. We always have enough of water. We have our own well, but we get a lot of rain here. And so that's really nice. And then after I wash my dishes, I use this hot water to just clean up the kitchen. For me, water is precious commodity because I'll show you why. Even though we have ample amount of water, I have to discard of all of my water by hand. I've done many videos on that and I'll share with you at the end of this video more explanations for those of you who are new to my channel. You know, it's like I said in previous videos, I live in a broken house. And so when you live in a broken house, you adapt to it. And I'll show you what we do next after my dishes are washed. So here's my dish water. Now, a lot of times in the summertime, I'll take this water and water my plants with it. But we had a lot of rain, so I don't need to. And I'll show you what I do. You know, through the years on my channel, people have seen the way I live and they come up with amazing ideas of how they can help me out. 
You know, and I'm not embarrassed at all because I think it's quite unique how people think outside the box in order to help me. Today, you're seeing a wagon that somebody got me. And I think it's amazing. I would have never thought of it. And they got me a wagon that I can pull my water so I don't have to pull the heaviness of it. Quite a few times people have found things that they thought I could use and it's been quite really unique and it has. A lot of you have come together and said, hey Tessie, I bet this would help you. Let's work on this and let's try this or let's try that. And wow, you have really blessed my life. So there my water goes and it gets down through the ground and it gets uh, purified because as you know the ground actually purifies your water. And now we have that chore finished. And with the help of the wagon, it sure makes it easy and fast. In the course of my 1,300 videos, I've never once asked for help with anything. I've never once asked somebody to do this for me or to do that. People just thought outside the box. Most of the times when I received something to help me, I never even knew it was coming until it was here at my door. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and watching my life and, and all the things that you've done for me. It's absolutely amazing.